Hi, welcome to an introduction to the Crystal Aspect software, a complementary data analysis tool within the Crystal Grow suite of programs. This program will allow you to perform a range of data processing and filtering tasks for a variety of Crystal Grow simulations. The software will also allow you to visualize and inspect your simulated crystal or series of crystals across the variable space. The goal of this video is to illustrate what the software looks like and to provide a summary of all the functionality available within the software. As the program is still being developed, new features can be expected to be discussed in future episodes of this series. Once the Crystal Aspect software has opened, you will be presented with this graphical user interface, which will now allow you to analyze the desired Crystal Grower outputs. By clicking on Open Simulations folder, you will now be able to navigate to your Crystal Grower output. And in this case, as you can see, Crystal Grower has created a separate folder containing all the XYZ files. But this is not always the case. So, for the data processor, the XYZ files can either be in this separate folder or within each subdirectory. So now you can select this parent crystal grow output folder and click on open. The face indices that were specified within the input file for coloring will be displayed under this select directions section. Once the directions are loaded, you can now select the crystal faces you wish to analyze. This will be the perpendicular face-to-face -face distance between the two parallel faces. To obtain an aspect ratio, you will need a minimum of three faces to be selected, but you are free to select any number of faces you wish to obtain the distances or growth rates of. So I'm going to select the 100, the 012 bar and the 011 faces. Once that is done, the calculations tab now shows you a range of analysis types that the data processor allows you to do. As you can see, the growth rate option is grayed out. This would be because the data processor has correctly recognized that the data does not contain the necessary growth rate information in the crystal grower output. This would be because you have not selected the correct settings during your crystal grower experiments. But having the XYZ files will now allow you to do surface area to volume ratio calculations and aspect ratio calculations. For aspect ratio calculations, the software provides you with two options, PCA or CDA. The PCA method performs a principal component analysis on each crystal simulation, finding the longest axis, the medium and the shortest, and obtains an aspect ratio. CDA is crystallographic directional analysis, which now allows you to pick a set of crystallographic directions that you selected in the previous tab and obtain an aspect ratio. The plot option will automatically plot a variety of different diagrams based on what you've selected. For example, in this case, you'll be provided with a surface area volume ratio plot, aspect ratio plots in both PCA and CDA methods, which will be in the form of SYNC diagrams. And finally, to submit the calculation, you click on Run. Once the calculations are completed, as shown by the progress bar and the status bar, you can now go to the output folder. This output folder will be created within the folder you previously selected. And within the crystal aspects output folder, you will have a timestamp folder as to when you did your calculation. And within this, you will have all your output files, including your plots. A second, but also a very important feature of this Crystal Aspect software is its ability to visualize simulated crystals. And as prompted in the message box, you can now click on the XYZ slash simulations folder to open the XYZ files you wish to visualize. You can now pick the parent Crystal Grow output folder, which would contain the XYZ files in its subdirectories. Click on open, and now you will be shown the crystals. You can select the summary file, 
which will present you with the option to click through all your energies and see how it has affected the crystal shape. You can also select any crystal you want. You can also use the slider. The visualizer options menu provides you with the range of options to change how the crystal is visualized. The color mode option allows you to color the crystal in different ways. Here you can see there's two colors. This is colored based on the atom or molecule number, which means there are two molecules of the same type within the crystal unit cell. You can also change the color theme. and the background color. Similarly, video options will allow you to move through frames and visualize movies as opposed to single frames produced through single frame calculations.